We're going to talk about artificial intelligence. We're going to talk about some of the tools powered by AI that you can start using right now to make money or to save time on everyday tasks at your job. And I have a bonus for you. While I was doing my research for this video, I found an awesome way in which you can combine these free tools to start your own business online. This year, from the comfort of your home, it really doesn't get any easier than this. So, I think we all know AI is a hot topic right now. And the best thing is, a lot of people have already built really cool apps that you and I can use. There's no need to be a machine learning expert, unless of course that's what you want to do. But right now, even if you don't know anything about coding, we can do some cool stuff with these tools. Today though, we're only going to focus on two apps, ChatGPT and MidJourney. And the reason is, they are the best apps in the respective category, but they use the power of AI to do different things. ChatGPT, for example, generates text, and MidJourney generates images. Of course, we're going to dive deeper into each one, and uh, like I mentioned before, we're going to see how to combine them to launch a business. Both of these two apps are great, and they can help you with tasks like generating text and images based on some input, or repeating tasks after you give it a set of very detailed instructions and even helping you find answers to your questions by going out on the internet and finding them for you. All that being said, there are a lot of different technologies and apps out there, which is a good thing if you think about it, because that means we have options. If one app doesn't quite do what you need, there's another one out there that probably does. Okay, let's start with ChatGPT. It is the fastest growing app in history. You probably already heard of it. It's a chatbot powered by AI. Its primary function is to generate coherent, contextually relevant, and conversational text in response to an input or a prompt. More simply put, what I mean is ChatGPT responds to your prompt by generating text you and I can read, with a tone that stimulates conversation, just like if you were talking with another human being with the power of the internet in their hands. If you really think about it for a second, that's an impressive feat. How does it even do it? Did it learn how to speak? Not quite. ChatGPT is a language model, so the people from OpenAI, the company that created ChatGPT, fed the program, the model, with articles and posts created by us, regular old humans, and the model created a probability distribution, basically, the probability of one word following another when we speak. For example, if you say, I'm feeling, the model would know what's the probability of the next word being excited, sad, anxious, or happy. Let's see it in action so all of this doesn't seem so abstract. First, we need to go to the ChatGPT website, chat.openai.com. You can also find the URL in the video description below. If this is your first time in ChatGPT's website, it's going to ask you to create an account, so go ahead and do just that. After we're done creating an account, we'll be redirected to this page. On the top left corner of our screen, we have the new chat button, which starts a new chat session. And below that, you will see all your previous chat sessions. It automatically saves all your conversations so you can go back to them for reference. At the bottom, there is an input field where we can start typing the instructions for ChatGPT, also known as prompts. Well, the question now is what can we do with this? Quite a lot, actually. You can ask for any type of data just like you would ask Google. Let's try a few examples. What is the first car ever built? It also takes follow-up questions, so let's follow up our question with, could you please explain this like I'm a five-year-old kid? And we can do it again. That's too long, Mr. ChatGPT. Can you please say that again in 100 words or less? You're probably not answering this type of questions on your everyday job, but you can ask ChatGPT, for example, to summarize text or to generate new text, like an email or a caption for an Instagram picture. Or you can even tell it to write code for you. How about formulas in Excel? A very common task in Excel is to look for values in a column and then return the value that it's on the same row but on a different column. Let's suppose we have a table like this. We can ask ChatGPT to give us a formula to find the values of subscription B, for example. Now ChatGPT, please write an Excel formula to find the value B in the first column, called subscription, and return the value in the second column called value. Now, let's test it a little bit more. Write an Excel function to find the highest value in column B and return the corresponding value in column A. The values in column A go from cell A2 to A6, and the values in column B go from B2 to B6. See? Awesome, right? And what about generating text like short summaries? 
Can you summarize the Harry Potter series in 10 short bullet points? Now, you probably already noticed that the key is in the prompt, how much details we give ChatGPT and what's the context. It is important to remember that ChatGPT is just a language model that was trained on articles and posts found online. Something to keep in mind is, even though its responses are meant to be conversational, it is just making up sentences to present information it found on the internet. If you would like to know more about ChatGPT and the AI technology behind it, there's a really cool talk I'm going to link in the description below. But please, wait till the end of this video before you go. The second tool I want to share with you is Midjourney. This one is an AI tool that generates images based on some text input. Again, some prompts. Getting started with this one is not as straightforward as ChatGPT because the interface to interact with Midjourney is through an app called Discord. A lot of you might have already heard of it, but if you haven't, it's just an app where you can create or join groups to communicate with other people through messages, videos, or calls. These groups are called servers, by the way. Okay, so first, we need to get Discord set up, and after that, we have to request access to the Midjourney Discord server. It's really not that hard, let me walk you through it because I think it's better if we see it in action. First, let's go ahead and download Discord from discord.gg. Again, I left the URL in the description box below. You also need to create an account, so let's do that. And after all set up with the Discord, let's go to midjourney.com and select join beta. If you're following the steps with me and install Discord first, then you should be redirected to the Discord app in the Midjourney server. Now, let's explore the interface a little bit because I know there's a lot going on in here. On your left, there's a list of servers you've either joined or created. If this is your first time using Discord, don't worry, you should only have one, Midjourney. Now, there are multiple channels or rooms available in Midjourney server. Let's just focus our attention on the newcomers rooms, the ones that say newbies, followed by a number. You can click any of these, and in there you should be able to see everybody's conversation with the Midjourney bot. Again, this is a group chat, so everybody's creations are public, at least while they're on the free tier. More about the different plans in a minute. You can scroll up and down to see other people's creations. You can even check the prompt they use to generate those images, which, pro tip, is a great way to learn how to create better prompts. Okay, let's generate an image for ourselves. Let's go to the text input at the bottom and type forward slash imagine, followed by your prompt. As you can see, Midjourney generates four different images. Below the images, there are two rows of buttons. The top row starts with the letter U, which stands for upscale. Clicking one of the buttons will give you an upscaled, high-definition version of the image you just chose. If instead, you would like to see more images that are similar to one of the options that were already generated, you would use the second row of buttons that start with the letter V, which stands for variation. By the way, if you didn't like any of the options they just gave you, you can just click refresh and Midjourney will generate a new set of four images. Now we're currently on Midjourney's trial version. There's a limit to how many images we can generate. If you want to pay for this service, there are different tiers we can choose from and you will be able to generate more images, get faster response times, and even generate images in private mode so no one can see what you're creating. As of right now, these are all the different plans available. They range from $10 to $120 per month. If you've already started using Midjourney, let me know what you made. Post your ideas in the comments, it will be cool to see what you're creating. Okay, so we saw some examples on how to use both tools. Now, let me tell you how you can use them to launch your business. And by the way, if you've enjoyed this video so far or if you found it useful, please click the like button and consider subscribing, it means a lot to me. Like I was saying, I found a few ways to power your new business with AI. The two that I like the most are selling stickers and selling designs to decorate spaces for kids. This is how you can do it. We know we need to generate the designs, and we know we need good descriptive prompts to generate them. So, let's go get some help from ChatGPT. Dear ChatGPT, please give me detailed and descriptive ideas for cute dragon stickers designs. Okay, we got a few ideas. Let's try them out. We can add the word stickers to the prompt so Midjourney generates images that kind of look like stickers already. But hey, it's your business, you can do whatever you want. And if you want to create designs to decorate spaces for kids, then I would do something similar. But first, I would define a specific category for my designs, like farmhouse or pirates, vehicles, unicorns, I don't know, whatever you think kids are into these days. 
Okay, we got the designs. Now what? There's a few different platforms we can use to sell stickers and designs. You can either use Etsy, Redbubble, or you can build your own website with Shopify. Just pick one. You are going to have to create a seller account and post your designs there so customers can see them. Make sure you take shipping into account because we're going to need to ship them to our customers. By the way, I got this idea from Joshua Mayo. If you want to check out his channel, he shares ideas for side gigs. Okay, people, we've made it. I hope this video helps you get started with AI. Now you know the basics of ChatGPT and MidJourney and how to use it to your advantage. Now, if you would like to learn how to create a website completely for free, make sure you to watch this video next where I show you four options available for you.